Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily and today we'll talk about 10 micro habits that improved my life. Let's get straight into the video. First is small walks or micro walks. Don't underestimate the power of this 20, 30 minutes walk. When I first I started doing these, uh, just the idea of just walking for 20, 30 minutes didn't look good to me or didn't make sense to me. But then when I started doing them, they completely changed my life. After a long day at work, I like going for evening walks. I'll take my daughter and then I'll put her in her bike and then we'll just go around the neighborhood for 20, 30 minutes. And I found that they really helped me physically, mentally, and I just feel so refreshed. It clears my mind. So just try and do these small micro walks or your small walks and see how different you will look or how different it will feel when you do them. And another thing is withdrawing cash. Normally, I always just use my card to just swipe when I go buy things. But then I, come, I but then I came to realize I use a lot of money when I just swipe my card everywhere I go. And then I started withdrawing cash weekly. So every week, I know there are certain things that I spend like gas. Or if we have any groceries we need to do in a week, uh, if we have to dine out, all these extra things that we do, I normally take cash out weekly because I already know how much I'm going to spend per that week. And if I don't have the money left, I don't go eat out. I don't do all the extra stuff that I'm supposed to do. And I'll show you, I got this money binder, which helps me to put the cash in there. And let me show you. So this is my money binder. It comes with different categories. So you can just categorize them the way you want. For example, here there's maybe you want to save for somebody's birthday. You want to just put uh, money for insurance, money for water, or just money for food, beauty, car. These are the categories. And then this is how the binder itself looks. So here for my category, I have gas, I have groceries, I have entertainment when I go out, I have shopping, I also have maintenance when I have my maintenance day, I have dining, you see here for dining, I don't have money left this week, so that means I'm cooking, I'm not going to eat out. I have just personal and savings. Here, these are just, just savings. Like if I have a friend's birthday, if I have a family member's birthday, we know how much it's going to cost. So we save the money here. So for instance, for gas, I keep money for gas. I already know how much will the full tank cost and how long will it take me because this is on a weekly basis. So I put the money here and this saves us a ton because we don't end up using extra cash or extra money that we did not anticipate to use. It keeps us in track and it helps us in our savings. So if this is something that you are interested in, you are just like me who when you go out and just keep sliding your card, you use way more in a week than what you expected because we already know in our cards, we have the money. So when we go buy these things, every single time we just keep swiping, swiping, swiping. Before you know it, when you do your math, in a week, when the week ends, I find that I use so much than what I, I wanted to use. So this really keeps us in check. So if you are interested, you can get this and it changed my life completely because I end up not using a lot of money and I keep track of my money. I know the money in my card are money for certain things and all this extra stuff. I already have budget for that, which is the cash and it helps me. And we end up saving a lot of money. Another thing that I started doing is making my bed the moment I get up. Before I used to just get up, then go do my skincare, go take a bath, do my coffee and all that. And then I find that when I come back and I see my bed is not laid, it will tempt me to go back to sleep or it will tempt me to just go back and lay down for a couple of hours. Before I know it, I already wasted an hour or plus being in bed. So when I wake up now, I lay my bed and that's the first thing I do. 
once I see my lay, my bed is laid, the pillows are on there, everything is good. It doesn't tempt me to go back to bed. And I felt like it really helped me every morning to be so productive because it will push me to go and do other things out there that are productive rather than going back to lay in the bed. Another thing I started implementing is the five second rule. If you don't know, this five second rule is for Mel Robbins. Thank you to Mel Robbins. I learn a lot from her. If you don't know her, she has podcasts, she has audiobooks. It really gives out good messages for people out there, you know, to learn. Anyway, back to this. So the five second rule, I use the example that she used. When you wake up in the bed, your mind is telling you you need to get up, but then your body doesn't want to get up. It's forcing you to keep sleeping. You start counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and you just get up. When I started doing this, it really helped me because there are some behaviors we just change naturally, but then there are other behaviors we need to force ourselves to change. We need to force ourselves to do them. Who wants to go to the gym? I'm sure, yes, you want to go to the gym, but every single day is like you have to push yourself to go to the gym. So when you are in that state of you wanting to go to the gym, but then your body is not ready for it, you start counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and you just get up and you just go. So this counting backwards, it helps that uh, it kind of blocks the brain to tell you not to go or to you know, to put you to procrastinate on that thing and you end up doing it. Just for me, I normally, since I work from home, so I sit a lot when I'm working. So then my mind will tell me, you need to go and eat. But then my body still wants to work because I still have things to accomplish. But then that's when I force myself, I come backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and I get up. Even in the morning, the same example she used, I faced that a lot before. I get up and my body just doesn't want to get out of the bed. But then I started counting, five, four, three, two, one, and I just get up. When I started implementing this, it completely changed my life. And you can do your own research. You can go and listen to uh, uh, the podcast that she have, and you can start implementing this and see how your life will change. The next thing that I started doing is putting my phone on do not disturb. This changed me. When I go to sleep, I'm a person who, when I go to sleep and somebody wakes me up or something gets me up, it's hard for me to just go back to sleep straight. I will end up staying there for hours to go back to sleep. So when I go to sleep these days, I put do not disturb and I don't get any phone calls. I sleep my good hours of sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I feel well rested because nothing really disrupt me from my sleep. So I slept well and I become more productive during the day because my body is not tired. You know, I still have the energy. I slept well. I had a really good rest. I slept long hours. If I don't put do not disturb, I get phone calls. I get all these notifications, which they can wait till tomorrow. There's no rush. So yeah, do not disturb improved my life. Another thing is setting 10 minutes timer for cleanup during the day. This helped me a lot. So pretty much what I do is during the day, I put my 10 minutes timer here and there. And in those 10 minutes, I clean up. If I have dishes in the sink, if I have to clean up my living room, if I have to clean up my daughter's playroom, because I have a daughter and she's a toddler. When these toddler play, all the toys are everywhere. So I take that time for this 10 minutes timer. I do everything I declutter in this 10 minutes. It helps me a lot because by the end of the day, I don't have everything piled up. You know, especially when it comes to my daughter, like cleaning up, doing toy rotations, they really help in those 10 minutes because at the end of the day, I don't have so much stuff I need to do. And also I started doing this 10 minutes cleanup before I go to bed. 
So when the day ends, when I already took a shower, we ate and everything, when we are going to bed, I set the 10 minutes timer to just clean up my space, clean up my surrounding before I go to bed. It helps me the next morning to wake up in a fresh house, my fresh space, my office is clean, my daughter's playroom is clean, the dishes are done, and I just don't have to waste the time to start cleaning up in the morning because I already did that the day before. And this improved my life so much. So if you want to start doing that and see how it works for you, please do. And if you're already doing this, you're in a right track. Let me know how you like it. Another thing that I started doing is waking up before my daughter gets up. I already know my daughter gets up on a certain time. So I try to wake up an hour before she gets up and just take time for myself, have some me time. If it's journaling, if it's to make my coffee, if it's to just start up with my early morning meetings, if it's to make breakfast for me, to take a shower, to do my skincare. In that hour, I do everything what I'm supposed to do for me. So when by the time my daughter gets up, I just start dealing with her. It makes me not rush during the day because mornings are really busy for us. In our household, mornings are busy. So when I found that when I started waking up early before my daughter gets up, I get some smooth mornings or my mornings become easier rather than me getting up when she gets up and we start rushing because at that time I have to attend to my needs and also have to attend my daughter's needs. So at the end of the day, I end up just rushing, you know, being in a rush, doing everything in such a rush. So this helped me a lot. So if you have kids, just try and wake up earlier before your kids get up and see how everything will change. And if you're already doing that, please let me know how you love it. I only have one and I feel like I'm rushing. I don't know people with multiple kids how they do it, but I'm sure Getting up before your kids get up will make you so productive during the day, especially if you have kids who go to school. Imagine you getting up when your kids get up and you still have to prep them for school. You still have multiple kids that you need to attend at the same time and you still have to attend to your needs. Another thing I started doing also is planning my day. So the day before I plan my day for the next day. I already know, okay, from next day, do I have any Amazon package to drop off? Do I have to go groceries? Do I have to, you know, if I have work, okay, what are the tasks I need to start with? I start with a bigger task first. Planning my day helps me to be productive and to not forget what I'm supposed to do because I already have a list of things that I need to do. If I need to meal prep, what days I'm about to meal prep or when am I going to buy the groceries to meal prep? So planning my day just puts me on the right track. And sometimes we forget about things. We really forget about things every single day. So putting it down, noting it down, or if you have any app you want to use to put everything there, I literally just use uh, on my fridge. We have a planner where I just add on the plan. Or if we don't have anything, uh, if we are out of something for groceries or anything, we add it there. So just planning my day, planning my groceries list. I have to also make plans for my family. If I have lunch dates, if I have things that I need to do with my family, I plan that. So just planning my days really helped me. And lastly, picking days that are specific for my deep cleaning days or my reset days. So remember I told you I normally put the 10 minutes timer during the day and clean here and there. So then I have a day where I picked, this is the day where I deep clean, I reset. And these are the days that help me to, you know, deep clean the house, mop, vacuum, go do groceries, go do all the big major things that I'm supposed to do in the house. And the day I picked is Sunday. When it comes to Sunday in our household, it's pretty chill. So these are the days where I take my time to deep clean, to vacuum. We do groceries. We reset our whole life. We do laundry. We fold the clothes. 
Reset days are so important, especially when you set that one day to do all these tasks. Instead of every single day finding yourself doing all these major things or bigger things in your household. And I picked Sunday because when it hits Sunday, when I do all those stuff that I'm supposed to do, when it comes to Monday, I start my week with a fresh start. The clothes are clean. They're already in the closet, arranged. I have groceries in the house. My house is clean because I deep cleaned. I vacuumed. I mopped the floor. I cleaned the counters. You know, everything is clean. I start my week on a fresh knot. Who doesn't want to do that? So these are the things that really work for me and the things that really improved my life. And let me know in the comment section below, what are some of your micro habits that you're doing? And we can all learn from each other. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and just come back for more content. Bye.